What is the longest driver and three wheel combination you can have in 2019? Let's find out and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. I am so pleased that you finally found me. Second of all, please take a second to go and hit that subscribe button before you leave. On this channel, I bring you guys daily golf related content every single day that hopefully helps you raise your game, hopefully helps you lower your handicap, but hopefully just gets you enjoying golf a ton more. And if you're bored of hearing that, then I do apologize, but the channel is growing outstandingly well and I want that to continue. Now today, I'm hitting a load of drivers, I'm also hitting a load of three woods, and I'm going to find out which is the longest combination you could possibly have. Because, because it's okay hitting those long monster drives, isn't it? But when it comes to it on the long par five, the three wood has to be just as good. The three wood has to be able to get me up to that green if I need it to. So guys, before we start, the rules of the test are, Every single driver is in stiff, every single three wood is in stiff, every driver is at nine and a half degrees loft, every three wood is at 15 degrees of loft, and the contenders are the Ping G410 driver and three wood, the TaylorMade M5 driver and three wood, the Mizuno ST190 driver and three wood, the Callaway Epic Flash driver and three wood, the Titleist TS3 driver and three wood, and last but not least, what I think is potentially gonna be the crowd favorite in this video, the Callaway F9 driver and three wood. I'm aware I took the head covers off in the wrong order there, but. So guys, I think we can all agree that this is some lineup of metal woods. This is some arsenal of clubs, isn't it? Guys, hit those comments below and let me know which one do you think, which combination do you think is gonna win? Remember, we're looking at teams, we're looking at a tag team match here, we're looking at Mizunos together, Titleist together, Cobra together, Callaway together, Ping together. Three woods are going to go off the deck, drivers are obviously going to be teed up, and apart from that, five shots with each three wood, I'm going to pick out the best three shots. So I'm allowed two bad shots, and we're going to see what the average distance total is on all of them. Then we're going to do exactly the same with the drivers, we're going to add them together, and we're going to see which brand is the longest. First up is the first club that the random generator came up with, the Mizuno ST193 wood. Oh, that is a very strong start. It's leap right, but it's a good distance. Must say, this is a great start for the Mizuno. ST193 wood, you are done, sir. Next up. Next up is the Callaway Epic Flash Sub-Zero 3 wood. This is the Sub-Zero 3 wood that is in my golf bag. I love this thing, I think this thing's beautiful, it's fantastic. It, I'm gonna go all three woods first and then into the drivers just so I'm not changing technique too much. Oh, yes please. Also guys, I'd like to hit those comments below. Who here has a matching driver in three wood set? Who has full matching wood sets? Who has full matching driver woods hybrid iron sets? Are people really bothered about that? I know I personally try and mix it up a little bit just so I have different things to look at, different bits of aesthetics that I like to see. Aesthetics is a big word for Monday. You are out of here. Next up, obviously bottom of the pile, TaylorMade M5 Titanium 3 wood. This is like one of the most expensive 3 woods I've ever seen. But when I tested it, it did go a long way. Still looks great down by the ball, this. Really does. So that's it for the M5 Titanium 3 wood. Head cover back on, you sir are done for the day. I forgot how good that thing feels and sounds. This feels incredible and sounds like an absolute cannon. Not that I've ever heard of Canon, maybe on films. The people's favorite, Cobra F9. Gotta say, I never hit three woods this well on the course. I'm absolutely nailing all of these. I think a bit like one bad shot so far. This could be close. 
Oh! <laughs> Stop it, Cobra. Now I should probably say that this test is a personal test for me. These numbers are in relation to myself. If you want to find out what the best combination is for you, go and try and find somewhere which will let you hit them all, but maybe take a break in the middle like I'm gonna do. Because <sighs> this is hard work. But you are no longer required. Two three woods left, one of which is the Ping G410. Let's see how this thing goes. Oh, what a hit. This thing sounds so loud, but you can forgive it with shots like that. Now guys, I have done full reviews on every single one of these clubs, and I will try and link them throughout the video. But if you don't find them and you do want to see reviews on a specific club that I've hit, there's a reason why I'm not going into loads of detail. This video will be long enough without me harping on about turbulators and face twist and turbulators and carbon crowns and they've all got technology in them. You are out. Titleist, you're in. Now I did game this for a brief spell last year. Maybe I should look at putting it... Yeah, no, maybe. I'm interested to know, guys, if you see a club here which you think deserves to be in my bag, should be in my bag, should definitely 100% be in my golf bag, hit those comments below and let me know, and let me know why. Because as a lot of you know, I couldn't care less which clubs go in my bag. As long as they look good and they work, for me, that's all I really care about. What? Final three wood shot. Then we start talking big dogs. What a shot to finish on. Okay, three woods, you are done. And I've just been through it, I've checked the results. I'm not gonna tell you now, I'm gonna wait till the end. We're gonna do one big grand reveal at the end. There weren't that many bad shots to take out. I'm amazed with how well I've hit those, but there is one leader so far. There's only a couple of yards in it, but let's hit some big dogs. And the first driver that comes up is the Callaway Epic Flash Sub-Zero. I have a little bit of history with this driver very nearly found its way into my bag this year. It still could do. Will today have a bearing? Let's find out. And that is a great start. Now I have to say, that's the first lot of drivers I've hit. And that is a pretty strong start for the Epic Flash. Next up, what could be seen as a bit of an underdog, the Mizuno. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, and you may not have even watched the video, but if you haven't watched the video, then go and watch the video, because it was a pretty good video. At the beginning of this season, I went out to Spain, and I did a one-hit wonder test. I hit one shot with every driver on quite a tight hole, and this thing won. Imagine if it wins this test as well, and no one's really talking about it. Obviously, I can't read the comments because you haven't wrote them yet, because I'm still filming, but I massively think the Cobra is going to get a lot of love in the comments. Oh. oh, that's five shots hit with the Mizuno. You are done. Now, I know I've hit some bad shots in this test, but trust me, the way I've been playing recently, this could be going a lot worse. Swinging really good today. Mizuno, driver, done. Taylor made M5. Now this thing should do pretty well because it is in my bag at the moment, and if it gets beat, well, it's going to be under scrutiny, isn't it? I mean, God help my comment section if the Epic Flash beats it. God help it. I'm definitely going to need a doctor of some kind at the end of this. Be it a chiropractor, be it a physio, or even a psychiatrist. TaylorMade M5, you're getting put away, son. Maybe for a while. <laughs> the People's Champ. Cobra F9. Time to put the People's Champ away. 
and let's get out the Ping G410. Turbulators, dragonflies, butterflies, movable weights and tungsten. Let's see how it goes. Oh yes please. Last but by no means least, the Tyclist TS3. Five shots, pick the best three, combine all these numbers, and then I'm gonna tell you what the best combination of driver and three wood is for me for 2019. Talk about saving the best till last. That was an absolute beauty. Okay guys, that is five shots hit with the Titleist TS3, the TaylorMade M5, the Cobra F9, the Ping G410, the Mizuno ST120 and the three wood equivalents. Which brand is the longest? It's time to find out. So I have had the calculator out for quite a while there and the results are in. And actually they're quite close. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the results for the drivers, show you the results for the three woods, and then I'm gonna show you the combined all on the same page. Then if you do want to see all the numbers at the end, I will put those on at the end for you. Remember, I have hit five shots with each. I've taken the best three. This test is about what's best here, not what's worse here. So we've taken the best three out of them all. Let's take a look at these numbers. So guys, amazingly, a lot of the drivers that perform well, the three wood didn't perform as well, or if the three would perform really well, the driver didn't quite perform as well. But as you can see, coming in at number one for the best driver in three wood comparison for me of 2019 with 530 yards is the Callaway Epic Flash. The driver averaged 272, the three wood averaged 258, coming in at, like I said, 530 yards. Second place, the Mizuno, the driver averaged 268. So the driver was a little bit down on the Callaway, but then the three wood was a yard up on the Callaway at 259, coming in at 527. You can see how close this kind of is. Third place, the TaylorMade. I am using the TaylorMade M5 driver, and funnily enough, that has been the longest driver of the day at 274. The three wood, however, was down a little bit at 251, coming in at a grand total of 525. In fourth place, the Titleist TS3 range, Titleist TS3 driver, 272, Titleist TS3 three wood, 252, coming in at a total of 524. Coming in at fifth place is the Ping G410. The driver only managed 261 yards, which is strange. I did hit a couple which I really did kind of nail and thought they would be up there, but yeah, 265 was I think the longest with that one. So three would average in at 254, so the three would perform pretty well. So as you can see, it's not always the case that if the driver works for you, the three would works for you. Combined total of 515 yards. Now this one was the shock for me, the Cobra F9. Couldn't seem to get a drive out there. I hit some, similar to the ping, hit some really good drives. Didn't seem to be able to get one out there at all. 260 yards on average. The three would however manage 250 yards, which I was quite pleased with combined total of 510 yards. So, so what have we learned from this test? For me, it's no real surprise that the Callaway performed well. I think I really do enjoy hitting that three when I use it on the golf course, and I'm gonna keep using it. However, some three woods did perform better than that. I'm quite surprised how when the driver performed really, really well, the three wood didn't perform quite as well. So make sure when you go and buy a new driver, you go and buy a new three wood, make sure you take that into account. Don't always just go for the matching three wood, the matching five wood, the matching driver. Make sure you go and get fitted and go and try different brands, different drivers, different, completely different everything. And funnily enough, the best driver and three wood comparison for me of 2019, regardless of brands, is the TaylorMade M5 driver, which I am using. And it's actually the Mizuno ST193 wood, but one yard behind that was the Callaway Epic Flash of Zero 3 wood, which I am using. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. That's been a long, long, long video for me this morning. It's taken ages. I've hit so many golf balls. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please hit that subscribe button below. Leave a like. Hit those comments below. Were you right? Did you guess right? Are you surprised with anything? I'm surprised with a couple of those. I'm going to leave you with the full list of numbers. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow.